Hi, welcome to the introductory video for Integrate. Integrate is an open access, open source teaching package that is designed to introduce you to the topics of physical climatology, empirical methods and programming. It will also give you some experience with collecting and analyzing atmospheric data. It is based on a module that I taught at the University of Tübingen in 2019 and its further development was supported by the EGU Higher Education Teaching Grant. The course material can be compiled into a website that can be used by students, teachers or people outside academia that are simply interested in teaching themselves about these topics. All of the source material is hosted on GitHub and you're free to change it, manipulate it, re-release it within the restrictions of our licenses. We have decided on very permissive licenses to facilitate the exchange between teachers. The course comprises a lecture series, an exercise series and projects. It is designed for students at the bachelor or master level and students require no prior knowledge to any of these topics. The course is taught in four different phases. In phase one, students will be introduced to programming in computer practicals and simultaneously through a lecture series, they'll be introduced to the topics of physical climatology. In phase two, the lectures on physical climatology are continued and in computer practicals, students get a chance to apply statistics to problems in climate science or science in general. All of the lectures will be completed before phase three. In phase three, students and teachers can focus entirely on assembling an atmospheric measurement system based on Raspberry Pi and some sensors. The course is concluded with phase four. In phase four, students work in groups of two to four people on a real problem in climatology using an advanced empirical method of their choice. If you're a teacher and you're interested in teaching this course, there's a guide on the compiled website. This guide will list some requirements such as the background knowledge that you need and the software and hardware that you need in order to be able to teach the course. It also includes a quick walk through the entire course, including a suggested schedule. Finally, the guide takes you through the folder structure of all of the source material in case you want to edit the source material and adapt it to your own needs. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoy working with this material and I'd be excited to hear about your experiences in teaching this course. Bye bye.